takes three ingredients, so it should be pretty easy. You need some glue, some baking soda, and contact solution. Other than that, everything else you see is a little extra. If you do have food dye or maybe some fun things you want to put in it, you can also take that out. Um, the only other things you're going to need is a bowl, some measuring utensils, and your hands. All right, so my first tip is, is if you have long sleeves, to roll them up or to wear a short sleeve shirt. But since I am wearing a long sleeve, we're gonna roll them up. It does tend to get on your sleeves or your clothes. But the simple trick to getting things out, if you're getting your hair on your clothes, on a carpet, you use vinegar to get it out. All right, guys, so for step number one, we're gonna add our glue. We're gonna add four ounces of glue, which is a half cup. So I have my half cup here. Let's grab our Elmer's glue, school glue. If you do happen to have glitter glue or clear glue, that really works better so that you can see all of the beads and glitter you add. Right. Add in our four ounces to our big bowl. We're going to move on to step number two, and that's going to be our baking soda. We need half of a tablespoon of baking soda, which means we're going to use one and a half teaspoons to make half of a tablespoon. So, one teaspoon in, and half a teaspoon. In. Now we're going to start all that up until we don't see any more powder and it looks just like glue again. Now that we've added in our glue and our baking soda, we're gonna pick from our glitters and we're gonna add it on in and stir. So for today, I was thinking a fun blue. One of our blues is called Forget Me Not. So that's what we're gonna be using today. And this kind of slime, you only need a little bit of dye. When you're making fluffy slime, you do end up using a lot because it spreads out. When you're making slime with just glue and baking soda and contact solution, you don't need to add too much. I'm going for sort of a baby blue, so I didn't want to add too much to our mixture. And then you mix until you don't see any more white glue and everything is blue. It is not streaky or spotty. Or else sometimes when you end up playing with the slime, a little pocket of dye can get into your hands and then your hands will look like Smurfs. Now that I've mixed up all of my dye and it is one solid blue color, I'm gonna pick out my glitters and add them in as well. We're gonna stick with our blue theme and open up my blue glitter being very careful because glitter gets everywhere. And I just do a nice sprinkle. Be a little sparingly when using glitter because it does tend to get on your hands when you play with your slime in the end. I'm also gonna add some silver glitter. Now I know not all of us will have the extra things, but I will add some pink and purple beads and chunky glitter just to see if it works. But most of the time when you use school glue to make slime, the added things don't show up as much. So let's put in a good amount of beads and hope that they show up. Most of the time you don't end up seeing the beads, but you do feel them when you play. This glitter will most likely disappear into the slime, but if it was clear glue, then this would definitely show up. So now with all our extras in, When you start stirring, I like to make fun patterns first, just to see what it all looks like. Swirl it, draw a picture, you could write your name. You can do anything you want, and then you just start stirring. Distributing all your fun extra materials evenly. And wow, this looks cool. It reminds me of the ocean and 
pretty mermaid beads and mermaid glitter. So once I think I have it all mixed up, we're gonna move on to our final step. Our last ingredient, which is our activator, contact solution. Now if you read down there, it says we need one whole tablespoon, which is the biggest spoon here. I can fill it on up and then we're gonna pour it in. Once we pour it, we gotta mix it and then play with our slime. So here we go. One tablespoon of contact solution. Now time to stir. Once you guys mix all of this and it forms a ball, you can then play. It does take a little bit of kneading, like dough when you're making bread or pizza. You do have to squish around and play with it for a little bit. Oh. But the good thing is that you can see our beads and our sparkles. And it, is making some cool sounds. I guess it's because of the beads. But as you can see, I do have glitter left on my hand after that. So if you don't want glitter on your hands after then do not use it. You guys had as much fun as I did making this slime. It was super fun. It wasn't even messy. And now I have like a new toy to play with. I know I didn't say that the glitter and the beads would work that well, but they look awesome in this slime. My slime is a little more on the putty side, so it can like rip instead of just stretch. But multi-purpose, now I can use it for more things. And I can have more pieces. You can tear off a piece, show with friends, with your sibling, with your mom, dad, grandma, not your dogs. If you guys did have a fun time with me here today, then please check out the rest of our Kids Go videos because there's more DIYs, tutorials, how-tos, sing-along, dance-along, anything you guys could think of because we want to make sure you're entertained at home because we miss you guys so much. Have fun!